Well, not much happened yesterday, so I guess we can hope for a better day today. Me and my, ow, ow, glasses that have a scratch right here. I really don't like these sunglasses, but I'm too cheap to buy new ones. Like I told you yesterday, if you watched yesterday's video, if you haven't, go and watch it. I lost my good ones in BC. I gotta, I'm stuck with these, but that's okay, whatever. We're here in Wisconsin. We're gonna deliver these spools of electrical wire we have on the truck today. I'm gonna give you a quick look at them so you understand what's behind me. And then we're gonna go down to, to Pakawi, Pakawaka, Pewaukee, Pewaukee. Pewaukee, that's right, because Pewaukee is like a suburb of Milwaukee. Pewaukee, near Milwaukee. All right, let's see what we got around here. This is where we spent the night. Nice little truck stop, nice little quick trip. And that's what we got behind us. Seven of them. Each one weighs probably about 4,000 pounds, I think. I think. <laughs> Four to 5,000 pounds. There we go. Let's pull it on down to Pawaki, near Milwaukee. <laughs> Diesel? Diesel, you think I'm funny, right? You think I'm funny, right? You laugh at my jokes, right? On the inside? The inside, yeah. Uh, I think he, yeah. On the inside, he's laughing. Madison, Wisconsin now. Lots of farmers. Lots of farmers. We're not quite in the city of Madison yet, but we're coming up to it. You can tell because the highway's widened. A lot more people around here. So once we get down to the Interstate 94, where it breaks off from the 90, we're going to head east in toward Milwaukee. And head that way. This day seems to be dragging on. I don't know why. I think it's just in my head. I just wish I could be there and unload these reels already. I've also had a hard time getting a hold of the customer down there. I need to let them know I'm coming just so that we can be sure that they're going to unload me today. Like I have an, not an appointment, it's first come first serve. They know I'm supposed to be there today, but I, I like to call the customer and the receiver just to let them know a more accurate time when I'll be there and to ensure that they will unload me. Because sometimes, even though, you know, there's been a an appointment made in the past by someone else, sometimes either they forget or they didn't write it down or things change. And I like to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that when I get there, I will get unloaded or that they're, that they're at least, I'm not going to be a surprise. You know, I don't like being a surprise at a receiver. I haven't been able to get a hold of them today. Every once in a while this happens. There's not much you can do. I've called them three times. I'm just over an hour away. I guess at this point, you know, maybe I'll try them once more in a little bit, but I'll just have to show up and be like, hey, I hope I'm not a surprise. <laughs> you didn't answer your phone. You didn't call me back. I left a message. I'll, I'll only leave one message. I, uh... I'm not the kind of person that will call and leave a message on someone's voicemail every single time again and again and again. No, I left them one message. They'll get it. We'll see what happens. I'm a little bit nervous. I had three pickups scheduled for myself to pick up tomorrow, and that's been <laughs> whittled down to only one. I had three LTL shipments to pick up, which means less than truckload. And two of them canceled on me, so now I only have one. We'll see if they find anything else for me this afternoon or tomorrow morning, but that's the plan for now. Still trucking. Still doing our best to get the job done. 
Well, we made it just in time. They're gonna unload us today. If I would have been a half hour later, I wouldn't have gotten unloaded today. Getting your close. So I've already taken the bear traps or the binders off the other side there. I'm just gonna undo all of these chains on here and then I'm gonna go to the other side and pull the chains through to the other side. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chains. And I'll hang them on the headache rack of the truck again and we'll make our way towards our next pickup. We have three pickups again. Two got canceled, but we got two new ones. We're going as far down as Lafayette, Indiana tomorrow. It's done. Through a little bit. next load so far I don't think I will but just in case we got them now let's pull these chains out of here here these chains are actually pretty heavy build yourself some good muscles doing this I'm hang this side on here hang them on here and then I'll drag them up and hang them on the back of the truck eventually. I'll do that a, another seven times and then we'll be ready to be unloaded. I'm gonna quickly get this done so they can get me get me out of here. They want to leave here in 20 minutes so. Veet feet. Hurry hurry. Got them all off. He's got them all sitting over there. So we're ready to rock and roll here. Our papers have been signed. Proof of delivery has been signed. They have confirmed that I have brought the product here and not dropped it off in my backyard. I have proof of delivery and this stuff I'm gonna need at my next delivery. I could have left it here, but I decided to keep these two by fours because my next load I'm gonna need them to secure a part of the, the load just like I needed them here. So what I did was these were all nailed down like this, right? Just over there. So I, I used the crowbar and I lifted them all up and I nailed this one back in here and put them down there just so that they're at a little bit of an angle, right? That way much easier to stay because if you just tie them flat down to the deck they might be able to wobble out like this the two straps there's no way they're going anywhere so I'm just gonna tighten these we're on our way to Chicago Milwaukee here, headed to uh, the TA, just into the state of Illinois from here. Trying not to hit anybody and hoping nobody will hit me. I'm not going to go right to my customer tonight. First off, the pickup is in the south side of Chicago. Uh, it's not that it's just the south side of Chicago, it's in the city of Chicago. And all of you know what Chicago is known for right now. Uh, kind of a dangerous place to park and I don't know which areas are safe and which areas aren't so I refuse to park for night inside the city of Chicago so we're gonna stop well north of it about 60 miles north of it near the Wisconsin border there's a TA truck stop there I looked at it on Google Maps it looks like it's in a pretty good area I'll judge for myself once I see it but those of you who live in Chicago you are probably laughing at me I I don't know what areas are safe and what areas aren't, so uh, cut me a little bit of slack. I don't know where I can park and where I can't and where I'll get robbed and shot in the head and where I won't. I know there's plenty of safe areas in the city of Chicago. And the majority of it, I believe, is safe, but there are some pockets of the city that have record numbers of murders and crime, so just to be safe as a as a friendly foreign Canadian guy who doesn't want to stir up any trouble, I'll just stay away from it all tonight. We'll get going early tomorrow morning. I'll probably get going early around like, oh, I don't know, 
five in the morning or so and we'll make our way over to our customer over in Bedford Park on the south side of Chicago. Uh, I gotta pick up one piece there. Uh, the Lafayette pickup canceled on us today so now I just gotta go to Michigan City, Indiana pick up a second pick a uh, second pickup and then we'll see. We shall see. So far only two picks for tomorrow and then I'm headed back home. Here we are. See if I can find a good, quiet parking spot. See one over here already. Like one near the back. There was a nice warning when you came into this truck stop saying, we are not responsible for damage, lost or stolen property, lock all your doors, blah, 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 all that stuff. And I'm like, oh great, maybe I'm not far enough away from Chicago. Oh, there's a beautiful German Shepherd right there. Beautiful. Oh, I got three dogs with them. Oh, tried that before. Didn't work so well. Well, it actually did, didn't did work bad. It was just a full house in here when Britt was with me. Oh, nice. You left a little trailer in there. That's awesome. I should have backed in here with it. That's where I should have backed into. I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, I need to face the other direction anyway, so I'm going to go around the parking lot and come back this way. I think I better take that before someone else does. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a U-turn here. I'm going to snag that parking spot before that other guy who's coming along there is. You see, I see a guy coming right over there. Two of them now. Oh, ho, ho. good thing I turned around where I did. I'm taking this parking spot. It's mine. And there he goes. He would have taken this spot if I wouldn't have quickly grabbed it. Sorry, buddy. Mine. My diesel this is our parking spot. It's not exactly as best and I'm like oh look there's a beautiful German Shepherd right there that's that same one as before diesel <laughs> good looking dog right good looking oh looking two little ones why are they so little why are they so little man look at them look at them I see him diesel can you sit friends man the friends Figured we'd take advantage of this extra time off here and go for a little bit of a walk. It's a beautiful day. I got here at about 5 p.m. I don't have to leave here. Well, I can choose sort of when I leave here in the morning. But I'm going to leave here around 5 a.m. Gives me 12 hours here yet. So I figure we'll go for a bit of a walk around the property here. Enjoy ourselves a little bit. Enjoy the sunshine, the summertime. Before you know it, it'll be winter again, and I haven't been very good with my walking this year, so I've got to force myself. Once I'm out here walking, I love it. It's just the getting out here, you know? It's, it's the taking the initial first couple of steps. You know, getting diesel out of the truck. And just walking around this massive place. This TA is huge. Come on, diesel. Come on. Come on. Don't get too sidetracked, man. We are on a mission. We're gonna walk around this whole property. I parked way in the back over there and I already walked inside to go to the restroom and went back to the truck. And I'm like, wow, you know what? This would be a great property to walk around. Maybe we'll do it twice, who knows? Well, at least do it once. We're about halfway right now, we're in the front. Somebody is walking really good right now, but a second ago, wouldn't stop pulling. He's almost seven years old and we've worked on his walking all year. Well, not all year, but you know, as much as you sort of can for the past seven years, he still doesn't get it. He still pulls and pulls and pulls. I've used all of the techniques. He's just a puller. He likes to lead. He'd probably make a good sled dog. <laughs> Maybe once we have the baby, we'll tie a sled up to you, Diesel. Make you pull him around the yard in the winter time. There he goes again, pulling. Diesel, come back here, slow down. 
It's always got a lead, always got a pull.